Hello and welcome back to the channel of Lenora Bears All. I'm Lenora and I'm going to briefly go over the tasks and duties um, that are typical for an HCA or an HHA. Um, I'm, I'm going to give a little bit of an explanation but in later videos I'll go over each one in detail and show you how I learned to do them. So, um, typical duties include ambulation, so this is to help a client or consumer move, walk. Um, it could be as easy as just supervising them as they walk, make sure they don't fall or wobble, um, watching them use their cane, walker, wheelchair, um, to some clients who cannot move at all and you push them in the wheelchair. Um, each, please keep in mind with all of, all of these duties and tasks that each individual consumer requires their own unique level of need for the assistance. So that, that's uh, ambulation is movement. Um, bathing, bathing again could be as easy as just uh, helping them in and out of the bath, walking them to the bathroom, making sure all their shampoos and body washes are in reach for them. It could include washing their back or doing a full sponge bath or completely bathing a client. Um, next is body care. That could include um, exercises, stretches, um, skin care, doing lotions, um, lotions, ointments that are non-prescription, as well as, um, changing dry bandages or, you know, doing their nails, like their nails get long and, and you can help them take care of their na nails by trimming them, filing them, um, uh, same with the feet. The only the only exclusion is if they're diabetic or have poor circulation, you won't be doing their foot care. Um, usually a podiatrist will do that. And also if a dressing, if a bandage needs sterile, um, sterile procedures are required, then you're excluded from doing those. Um, dressing them, um, helping them, you know, it could, it could be supervising them again you hear the term supervising a lot and that's just watching to make sure that they're okay they don't lose their balance they don't um, fall over or have difficulty or get stuck in their own clothing um, so you could help them choose clothes offer them their own choice of clothing um, give, giving them to them making them reachable or accessible to them or some clients who are unable to assist in their dressing at all and you are required to fully dress and undress and dress them. Um, next is eating. Um, again, as light and easy as um, making their meals, doing meal prep for them and um, giving it to them, making sure they have their utensils, um, to completely spoon feeding them, um, or cutting cutting up their food before completely <laughs> spoon feeding them and some are just on a liquid diet some clients you have to cut their food real fine or even process it to puree it puree it um, it just depends on the different levels um, personal hygiene is next and this could be um, care with their hair so helping them wash their hair, comb their hair, braiding their hair, doing, you know, putting their hair up to, to take care of it and maintain it. Um, helping them brush their teeth or making sure that the, the toothpaste is on the toothbrush um, or just giving them their comb or combing their hair. I know I'm jumping back and forth a little bit. I don't mean to. I have my notes right here. I get nervous on camera, so forgive me. Um, and... It could be um, doing their nails, helping them with shaving. Um, so that's that's the personal hygiene. Positioning. Um, some clients, they need assistance with turning over in their bed. If they, they are immobile, they'll need help with positioning, 
um, turning them, helping them do slight exercises to keep their muscles working, um, self-medication, self-medications, um, you can hand them their medications for them to take themselves, um, measuring it out in liquid form or um, cutting their pills or putting their pills in their pill boxes, medication assist. Um, there's, there's a lot more detail to that medication, so I'm probably going to do an entire video just on the medications. Um, toileting. Toileting is one that makes a lot of people nervous, um, but it could be as simple as walking them to the bathroom um, and walking them back from the bathroom, or it could be as detailed as making sure that they have peri care, um, they're in briefs, um, not diapers, we call them briefs, okay? <laughs> um, they, they look like, well, they're, they're kind of adult diapers, but we use the term briefs. Um, so changing their briefs, completely cleaning them up, or as I said, as, as easy as just walking them to the bathroom when they say they need to go and making sure that they don't fall, making sure toilet paper is in reach, um, to even using a bedpan possibly um, at the extreme need for help. Um, transfers, meaning um, helping them move from one location to another, um, getting off of a bed to sit into a wheelchair, um, getting off of the wheelchair to sitting them on the toilet, to putting them back in the wheelchair or in bed or in their favorite chair somewhere they like to sit. Um, travel and medical services. So on occasion, you have to drive them to a doctor's appointment and that's okay. Um, you can learn about getting mileage. Um, we'll discuss that in, an, in another video. Essential shopping. So some people have a really hard time getting out to the store. Um, and so your job is to just go to the store and buy their groceries and not with your own money. Of course, you'd have their their card or the cash that they give them, but you always keep very meticulous track of their any any money or financial exchange and tracking it for them. Um, you're not buying yourself a soda because you went, no, you were just purchasing their necessities. You are bringing back all the change and the receipts and that you know helping them with their essential shopping um meal preparation we we kind of went over some people can't cook at all some people um you prepare they can warm things up in the microwave so you might prepare some meals and have them in the refrigerator for them to heat up later pre-make some sandwiches for you know the time that you're gone or cut up some fruit for some snacks for them when you're gone, but also providing them those meals when you are there. Um, laundry, everybody needs their laundry done. Some people can't do it, so it's, it's a job that we can do. It's, it's help that they need, and it's pretty easy. You throw some clothes in the washer, you give it some soap, and it goes and does its thing, and then you put it in the dryer, and some people don't have a dryer. Sometimes you have to use line drying, and you know, it, it just varies from client to client. Some people need you to take their clothes to a laundromat. Some people have the washer dryer in the facility or in their homes. Um, folding them, putting them up, hanging them up if they need to be hung up. Laundry. Um, housework. And this could be a, a variety of things. You could be sweeping, vacuuming, mopping, um, doing dishes. Just housekeeping is something that needs to be done for the health of um, the environment that the consumer is in to keep them healthy and strong and they're unable to do it themselves. Um, you could be sweeping, cleaning a kitchen, cleaning a bathroom. Um, another one that, that actually surprised me when I started, I was like, whoa, we can do that. We're supposed to do that. Um, wood supply. If a consumer's main source of heat is a wood stove, guess who's bringing in wood <laughs> but it's not too hard it's it's really not I was like so nervous about that when I started but it it is not a big deal and uh, supervision me being just to be available to help them if they need it 
but also letting them do as much as they can on their own. We are their support. We are not there to do things, do everything for them if they are capable. We are there to assist them to live their best lives. So if, if you know, someone's having a, a hard time, you know, bending over and picking stuff up, well, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to go bend bend and pick up every little thing that that is dropped. I mean, it, it could mean that. It, it's true. It could mean that. But it's our job as caregivers to kind of brainstorm and help them find ways to continue being as independent as possible. So that may be get, getting a grab bar for them, or it may be requesting um, a doctor to prescribe or get insurance to purchase a grab bar, a reach in a grab bar so that they can do that task on their own. And you have helped them continue to maintain their independence. So thank you for watching this video. Um, in future videos, I'll go more in depth and have some examples to show you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning more about home health care and what it means to be providing home health care. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.